Warning, this show contains content that might make you laugh. If you're offended, them boys want you to know that they are sorry. Hell, who am I kidding? Them boys don't care about nothing. Enjoy the show, folks. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Last Slice Podcast. It's your boy Bodega Cat, Trill Boy in the Cut. Yo, yo, what's going on, Internet? Jimbo the Kid. Hello, everyone. What's up, fellas? Hello. You want to talk about this dude? <laughs> what well, is who's that? that? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yep. What? Yo, is, is he, he in an accident? Lo- yep. <laughs> Why does he look like? He's not Terminator. shooting a scene from Terminator. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's wearing the leather jacket. What is he doing? Damn. I don't know. But, what the uh, hell happened here? <laughs> I have no clue. Oh, my God. Arnold, what are you driving, bro? All right. It says uh, Schwarzenegger was involved in a car crash in Los Angeles area on Friday. A representative for the Terminator actor confirmed to NBC, adding that the, his main concern is for the woman from the other vehicle. The accident took place at 4.35 p.m. per the Los Angeles Police Department at Sunset Boulevard and Allenford Avenue. Um, Damn. His his (laughs) Yukon pretty much demolished a Toyota Prius. And that's a massive car. Yeah. Jeez. Jesus. Arnold. Imagine him stepping out just dressed just like he is. Yeah. Yeah, like, is this some fucking movie? Yeah. Like, this is really... Arnold, she's not Sarah Connor. My man came out of there with a leather jacket, untouched, and then the other person was like really banged up. That's like, wild. The jacket, it just my man. That's a big car. He That's did he run huge. over the Prius? I I guess they said the the wheel is on top of the back of the Prius. Like <laughs> his car is literally like angled <laughs> on top of it. It's like the Jeep display yeah. on the rocks. There's like him <laughs> on the Prius. <laughs> Oh um, uh, in other news, Jake Paul lost three point five million dollars buying fake Pokemon cards. Fake. Not sure fake. if that's real. Fake. Not sure if it's real. Like I, I told you guys, if I lost three point five million dollars, or if I got gypped, I'm turning into a cartel leader. <laughs> Close the doors, and we need to figure out yeah. who sent this package. Y'all hear about uh, Pete Davidson? No. So, Mr. Davidson. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's keeps the internet keeps winning, bro. So this is crazy, Mr. Davidson. After hearing that tr- that track that we reviewed with, with Kanye in the game, apparently hired some new security because he, he's a little fearful for his life after Kanye made that statement. Well, uh, I, I read that. I saw I heard that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I read. I read that. Um, that it looks. It appears like he was scared from from Kanye, but he's not scared of Kanye. It's more of his fan base. Oh, yeah, which is true. Damn. Oh, damn. He was on there. Yeah. <laughs> well, he thought he had a Jeep and he was trying to off-road on this Prius? He thought he was in a movie sequence. Yeah, he thought he was in Terminator. <laughs> Terminator 7. <laughs> wow. I need another movie. Uh, bro, I don't know how. Oh, I my God. I don't know. That's crazy. Um, I don't know. Yes. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Idris Elba. Thousand percent, yes. Uh, is possibly in talks of becoming the next James Bond. I will watch every single one of those. Yep. I'm here for that. I'm on I board. No, I'm I, on I board. want him to. We've be been seven. saying this for years. Yes. I wasn't a fan of what's his name, Daniel Craig. Yes. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of him. Who's your favorite uh, double? I think we had I had this conversation <laughs> multiple times, and people were just <laughs> like, they look at me like I'm crazy. Who's your favorite? Mine was Pierce Brosnan. Okay. Even though those you? movies are terrible. Yeah. Nah, mine was Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. yeah. You know, we get shit for that because that's the that's the era we grew up in. Yeah. I know. Sean Connery's we good. We get shit for you know I, I like, get shit for that all the time. Yeah. They're like they're like, Oh, you're gonna say they're like, Oh, what year were you born? And I say and they're like, Oh, you're probably definitely Pierce Bronson. I'm like, Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, Sean Connery was amazing. I'm not going to deny him. You yeah. know. Yeah. Was he? The, he was the OG. Uh, no, actually. Who was the OG? Uh, James Bond. I mean, from what we remember. No, no, it, it is Sean. Connery. Oh, it is Sean Connery. He's the yeah, OG. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he's the OG. Yeah. He's I don't good. I don't know. It was just growing up, like. I always thought Pierce Brosnan was 007. Yeah. Every time I saw him in another yeah. movie, I'm like, in the, oh, vid- in in the, the video, video games. games. Yeah. 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 Golden Eye. Golden Nintendo 64. What do you, what do you expect? It's Pierce. Yeah. It's oh. Pierce. And He's then a- whenever I saw him in other movies, I was like, oh, that's 007. See, yeah. now if I say this, if I have the same conversation with my father, he's like, no, Roger Moore. I'm like, I didn't grow up with Roger Moore. I didn't even know. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Timothy Dalton. Mm. Definitely yeah. Idris. We want Idris. Please give us him. Idris as 007, please. Yes. Oh, did you even hear about the other rumor that they had? What? That they wanted to go. So they wanted to do a depiction of a younger 007, I guess, like in his early years. And they're talking about um, having uh, Tom Holland. Oh, f- get, get out of here. Get, Not, but get Why? out. Why? Why? I don't know. What younger year? I don't know. No. They're all different. I don't know. He is Spider-Man. No. All right? No. I don't know. No. Wait for him to get older. Yes. To replace Idris. Yes. Yeah. He's Spider Man. I'm like, well, no. I don't know what's up with Hollywood's uh, fascination of like going into like the the early years of like characters because they have they can't recreate. They're not right. making anything. Everything's a fucking remake or it's a prequel. Do a prequel or prequel. Did you, or they're adding oh, to the y'all, story. Y'all didn't see the new Scream. They made fun of movies like that in the new Scream. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. And so, Which, by the way, don't watch it. It was horrible. Yeah. So they, they made fun movie. of it, but it was still trash. Yeah, it was a horrible movie. <laughs> yeah, let's remake a movie. Let's remake everything. Well, they want to remake Cra- everything. Wes Craven's turning his grave right now. He's like, you made this shit. Yeah. I'm the master of horror. And people you made are scared this shit. to put out movies. They're yeah. scared to come up with new stories and because everybody gets so offended nowadays. It's ridiculous. Yeah, That's yeah. why I, I've always been. Um, well, I I started doing like this uh, this script, mm-hmm. like I started like a small little page or whatever, uh, just trying to you know. That's what it was. Tom Holland pitched uh, a young James Bond movie. Nah, nah, no. uh, they weren't interested. You're in Spider Man. Your your Uncharted movie's coming out. I'm not excited for that. It doesn't look good. You're too young to be Uncharted. Stick what, to Spider Man. Yeah, stick to Spider Man. That's it. I want you as Spider-Man and nobody else. I don't know. Who would you pick to play Nathan Drake from Uncharted? It's I would honestly do like a Matthew McConaughey, like an older bearded, like an older gentleman, you know, older, but still looks young. Yeah. You do Ben Affleck. I Nathan don't know. Drake. I think they got the casting a little weird because I would have picked Mark Wahlberg. As oh, yeah. Nathan Mark Drake. Wahlberg should have been Nathan Drake. Yeah. There's Nathan Drake. Yeah. That's how I would see it. Yeah. They, they mix that up. Because he kind of he kind of does look like him. Or Tony Banderas is in it. Not a not a fan. Not looking forward. Yeah, what's to he it. look like? I don't know. Uh, so Nathan Drake never never like, played any of the. Uh, they're pretty good. They're like Tomb Raiders, essentially, with guns, more guns. Or you could have the guy from Mad Men. John oh. Hamm. John Hamm. Oh, Maybe. he looks like every. Yeah. Character, every basic ever. character. He could be fucking Superman. He could be Bruce Wayne. He, he, Yo, imagine him as Bruce Wayne. Oof. No, 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 Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We need a movie it's with John Ben Hamm. Affleck. Stop, stop. Let's not. We need. That's John Hamm. <laughs> it is. It looks like him. But like, actually, you know who it looks like? Uh, the guy from Game of Thrones. Who? Um, the guy who played Jamie. Oh, Jamie Lannister. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he could. He could. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. They were supposed to make a... Um, not Among Us. I'm thinking of... The game with the guy and the, and the little the girl. girl. And L. Um, L. Um, oh, uh, The Last of Us. Yeah. The Last of Us. They were great, supposed to... Great game. They were supposed to make a, a movie to that. I was waiting for I it. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And what's her name? Ellen Page or whatever? Mm-hmm. No, it's still happening. It's still happening? No, mm-hmm. Ellen Page was the, the, the voice yeah. actor. Right, but she was going to be in the movie as well it's as a the actor. TV show. Yeah, but isn't Ellen Page oh, a guy now, though? TV show. She, what? Oh, it's not Ellen Page no more. Wait, what? Yeah, type it in. Wait, what? 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 Ellen, Ellen Page is a different name, and uh, she's not she's not a female no more. Wait, what? Oh my, oh my Elliot Page? Elliot Page, there you go. Shut up. So type in Elliot Page. 
There you I'm go. so confused. Shut up. Shut up. I'm so confused. So Ellen Page is no longer. So now she goes by Elliot Page. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming she is now he. Yes, is that correct? Elliot Page. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, power to her because she's not changing her appearance, and I appreciate that. But if you want to be called Elliot, guess what? You're Elliot now. Wow. Yeah, that's her. That's him. Sorry. Wow. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. No. Elliot Page. Uh, good for you. I wasn't aware of that. Good for you. Wasn't aware, but good for you. Wasn't she an X Men? Yes. She was Kitty Cat or yep. Kitty Pride. Yep. Good for you. That's crazy. All right, Elliot. Let's see. So let's see if he takes it. No, yeah, I forgot. In, I forgot in the Last that. of Us, it's uh, Pedro well, Pascal. Pedro Pascal, and then this girl from. Uh, Oh, from Game of Thrones. Yes. yes. She, uh, she's gonna what be was her cool. What was her name again? Oh, she was fantastic. Yeah. Um, she, oh, lady, lady something. Oh, man, that little girl was good. Wait, it's a Netflix show. Uh, HBO. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. God. Uh, speaking of Netflix, guys, our Netflix accounts are going up in price. Yep. Again, like everything else. Again, yep. and they're not giving us anything for it. Netflix is going to twenty dollars a month. That's insane. That's like a movie ticket now. If you That's think insane. About it. Twenty dollars a month. Like, yeah, you you you're coming out with like good content, yeah, good movies and stuff like that. But like, still, it's not the movie theater. But what they do is they release stuff all at once, and then they leave you dry. Like, they'll release like a movie. Oh, so a they're TV gonna continue series. doing all that. I don't know, but dropping that's what they everything do. all at once. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's it's annoying to me. Like all of a sudden you'll get like, oh, this movie's out, and then this TV series, and then a new season of this is out, and I'm like, cool. Now I gotta watch all this stuff, and then all of a sudden dry. I don't know. All right, I, I like the lady, other lady Liana. Yeah, lady Liana. But uh, I like I like the the weekly things. You know, it's like it makes me watch it. Yeah, I felt like Netflix, like oh. the way they do things, dropping all, everything all at once. I'm just like, it kind of ruins it, you know? Because mm-hmm. someone could like binge watch something mm-hmm. and you like to slowly digest the show, mm-hmm. and someone will like slip up and be like, oh, this happened in the show. I'm like, it's like, yo, I didn't even finish the show yet. Mm-hmm. Did you hear about Disney's recent L? What? With the movie Encanto? What about it? So they made a bunch of merchandise for the main character of Encanto. Uh, and the bro, you are Spanish. You the, said that terrible. Encanto. No, <laughs> Encanto. the little girls per of the world. Neil. <laughs> per Neil. Per Neil. The uh, little girls of the world decided that they didn't want the main character's merchandise. Right? You know who they want? Who? The strong woman. And now there's like a a, a huge push. Oh, the aunt. Yes, there's a huge push to get her merchandise out, and Disney is kicking themselves because. They thought little girls of the world were going to attach themselves to the main character, but there's a high demand for the aunt's um, merchandise. Isn't that crazy? That's, That's cool. Crazy. I mean, yeah. times are changing, bro. And the creator of the um, character actually released a statement because Disney didn't want to give her muscles because Disney said they want her to re- remain feminine throughout the cartoon. And now he's like, mm. well, look at you now. That's crazy. Look at you now, Disney. Give the fans what they want. You know. Uh, oh, John's so, in it? John Leguizamo? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I have to watch that? it. That's pretty yeah. crazy. Speaking, Wilmer? Oh. Speaking of uh, the Netflix, Ozark, mm-hmm. the new season came yep. out. Just yeah. drop. Did you watch it? Nope. No. I'm on yet. like episode four. That oh, look. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> I started it yesterday. <laughs> oh I just couldn't God. stop. I just couldn't stop. God, I was dude. sitting there drawing. I don't even think I finished I, the last season. The 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 blonde hair girl. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Uh, oh, the, the chick from the town. Yeah, the trailer, yeah. the trailer girl. Yeah. Um, let me find her name. So Bro, I'm like, I'm trying to catch up on uh, what you call it, Euphoria. Ruth. No. Euphoria. Yeah. I, I fell asleep uh, midway through the what is the second episode or something. First, like first episode was good. Second episode, mm. no. Second episode was just <laughs> it took it to a whole new level. Like, a- Yo. Yeah. The the talking about like the <laughs> that big female for Di- from Disney. Yeah. yeah. Ruth, the character in Ozark, is phenomenal. She's Bruce. so good. And the oh, girl yeah. who plays Ruth, uh, Julia Garner, mm-hmm. f- I, 
I, I don't know. It, it's she's so good. Yeah. Like she's a badass. Yep. Smart girl, intelligent, good with numbers, poor, and she's just smart. She just like outfoxes everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, and also too, Julia Garner is from Riverdale, New York. Oh yeah, that's right. She's from the Bronx. I forgot about Ooh. that. I forgot. So what is this? Is this going to be a two-part season finale? For Ozark? Is it? Yeah, I think this year is this part and then uh, part two. Oh, yeah. Hello. Part two, I think, is coming out next year. Mm. It's a good show. It is. I really enjoy the show. Oh, the second half of season four is expected to premiere sometime in 2022. Oh, okay. So it's this year. Maybe oh, the winter better. Yeah, probably like a Game of Thrones type of thing. Something like that. That's crazy. That Moon Knight trailer, though. <laughs> Should look like a movie. How does Disney do it? How does Disney continue to produce this content? Infinite amount of money from yeah. China. Morning. Boba Fett. Now Moon Knight. Looking like movies. Better than the movies. So, because I guess they just see like Marvel's always hitting things out the ballpark, so they're just like, here, just uh, take the money. I can't wait. Take the money. Moon Knight looks so good. I just can't wait because it's gonna start introducing like supernatural shit, Mm. Marvel and whatnot, onto a whole nother level and shit. Because in the comic books, he actually like fights like what Dracula, werewolves, and Mm -hmm. all that stuff. So, Mm -hmm. Moon Knight, yeah, Moon Knight, yeah. Like Dracula, the actual Dracula yes. werewolf. Vampires. Yes, Dracula. Dracula's canon in the Marvel Universe. See, what I feel like they're doing is they're going to lean towards doing, uh, what is it, the Midnight Suns? Mm. With all the supernatural characters. With their, uh, what you call it, um, group. So you're talking about like Blade, Doctor Strange. I was about to say Blade. Punisher was in there. Uh, Ghost Rider, all these guys. Mm. Yeah, I feel like they're going to go down that route. I'm hoping Keanu Reeves reprises his role as John Constantine. I'm hoping that comes out. He wants to do it. Huh? Yeah. And stuff. Is that a Marvel? No, DC. Mm. Yeah. Oh, did you hear about Batman? No. It's like three hours long. <gasps> <laughs> like the final cut, I think I'm, it's like I'm, three hours long. I'm excited. Good. That, I'm, excited. I'm I'm fine with that. I'm hard, I'm, <sighs> I'm really fine <sighs> with that. And you know what? Imagine it being like just a fucking flop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm be so no, no. You know what's going to be a I flop? Don't know what's going to happen? And Marvel, if you're listening, <laughs> give up on Morbius. Just give up. What Morbius? Give up. You know they uh, delayed it, right? Yeah, they pushed it back again because of the success with Spider-Man. So they just wanted to like let it breathe, breathe. a little bit and stuff. Yeah. Just, just give up. I feel, I feel for Jared Little, man. I really do. He's a, he's a really good actor. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You know, Damn. I really want to see him do well. I saw a TikTok and I was like, "What the fuck?" Someone went on Google and looked at the cast, and Andrew Garfield was on there. Really? Yeah. I don't know what, if it they photoshopped it or whatever, but well, because that Spider-Man poster is not Tom Holland's Spider-Man, correct? No. From what it looks like, the I suit. I don't think so. I think it takes place in Andrew Garfield's universe. Yeah, that's why. There's I think. so many talks with. Toby and Andrew right now ever since uh, No Way Home they're talking about like remaking more movies for both of them I'm just like oh just give it to us we well I think um, what you call it uh, Toby Maguire is going to be in Doctor Strange mm. he's going to come back I think as Spider-Man in there because that movie is going to be fucking they, they crazy they said Doctor Strange's movie is going to have the most Marvel characters ever it's yeah. going to have more than uh, Infinity War like with all the little cameos and like yeah. people popping up. I hope, um, and I said this before. I really hope. I I pray that they they bring in um, Logan. I th- I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, it ha- I, it's gonna I, happen. I want to see. Yeah. I want to see happen. Logan, Cyclops, Professor X, and Magneto oh, together. The dudes in the movie. Bruce Campbell. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say his role though. Nope. <sighs> Mm. <laughs> Love me some Bruce Campbell. No, Logan's definitely gonna be in it. That's gonna be like, like that movie's version of like Tobey Maguire and Andrew and, Garfield and coming Spider-Man. in. Yeah, 
It's and have happen. and have have like you know, uh, Professor X, Cyclops, and and not only that, let's give him the goddamn yellow suit. Bro, if they put him in the damn yellow suit, if they that's put it. him in and have Cyclops <laughs> come mind. out with the blue with the yellow, I will lose bro, my mind. I'm out. I'm <laughs> leaving the theater. That's it. It's over. And it's it, over. And imagine they give Professor Xavier the wheelchair from the cartoon. Yes. The futuristic, the the futuristic one. The floating. The yep. <sighs> bro, I'll lose it. I'll yep. lose it. <laughs> you can't nuts. tell me that that's not going to beat out the uh, Tobey Maguire. That would definitely uh, be because now you're taking the X Men fan base that they did good on a lot of the movies mm-hmm. and the younger generation, uh, the young X Men, and now yeah. you're putting you're make you're merging both universes, or mm-hmm. you're just having a, a little quick cameo. No, yeah. dude, come on, man, stop it! Damn, did they already leaked the fucking credits. <laughs> Dude, I, why, this, why do you do this, dude? This can't be. Why do you do this? There's no Wait, way. Wait, there's an Emma Frost in this movie? No. <laughs> no way. Shut up. Beast Storm? This could be fake. Bro, Yo, this, this, could be this fake. is fucking fake, bro. This could be fake. Trill just pulled up a leak credit scene this got on Twitter. No way. <clears throat> this gotta be Matt fake. Matt Murdock? No. Hulk? No. Bro? X-23? The little girl. Gambit? X-23? If this is real... <laughs> This is not real. This is not real. I'm gonna go and say this is not real because I want to go to the movie theaters. <laughs> Peter and if Parker, it is real, Spider-Man, I Tom want. Holland. I want to enjoy it. Gwen Stacy. Wait, they said Tom Holland. Spider this. Gwen. No, wait, no they wrote Spider movie. Gwen. There's no way. Leonardo DiCaprio as a Spider Man. No. <laughs> Tom that's Cruise. Fake. That's so fake. the Tom Cruise one. That's crazy if they introduce Blade in this movie. Just randomly, Edward Norton and Lou Ferrigno as Hulk. I don't know. They said fake. They, they, this fake. is fake. They, they said they seen Lou on set. It. Really? Yes. Lou Ferrigno. Yes. They said they seen him on set, and Nicolas Cage. I'm telling you, this movie is gonna be bonkers, bro. I I told you guys that it's gonna be. Bonkers. I told you guys I am looking. For, if, this, if they if they're able to do what they did with Spider Man. It just imagine Strange's fucking movie is going to be far superior. I don't know. Because don't don't know. Know. Now, now it's like Doctor Strange. All he has to do is the little circle shit and people just pop out of nowhere. Dude, that's an, an, it's going to be crazy. Dude, it's going to be nuts. Yeah, people could talk about Tom Cruise on the movie set. Yeah, because originally in Iron Man, he was supposed to play Iron Man. Tony yeah. Stark. He's short. It'll be funny. What? Him? Yeah. That's not Tom Cruise. That's not. That's, that's not, Tom, not Cruise. Tom Cruise. Is that Tom? That's not, that's Tom, not Tom. Tom. Is that you? That's like Wario, <laughs> like Super oh, Mario. Is that you? Who's nah. he supposed to be? He's supposed to be another Tony Stark, a variant. Nah, they're, they're playing off of like the the whole thing that you think this he is was real. Supposed to be Trill, d- stop looking. Why do you do this to yourself? Why do you? Why do you go down this? He wants this to dude, get spoiled. I this dude, dude wants to get leaked. No, but like when I go to the movies, I'm still like ecstatic and like, dude, like they really. Yeah, but just let it. let it happen. Let it happen. <laughs> let it happen. Oh just, let it just let it happen. Just let it happen. Be surprised. Just you know, because you look at these leaks and it's like, oh, it comes true. It's like, oh, yeah, cool. All right. We heard about this. <laughs> this is dope. Like, you know, I want to sit in the movie not knowing anything prior and just be like, oh, shit, they did it. Like, they did this. This is crazy. Look at this. But, dude, the the whole, bro, they put my man in that yellow Wolverine costume. Has to be Hugh. Yes. Yes. No, I don't want anybody else. Hugh Jackman. Because this was originally in the uncut version of Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Right. I remember that. Bro, if he came out in that suit, bro, like, what the fuck? I'd cry. Dude. I'd cry. With a cigar in his mouth? Dude. I'd cry. With a fucking cigar in his mouth? Dude. (laughs) Hugh Jackman. And then right behind him is just Professor X going, coming in with the wheelchair. Oh, my God. Bro, I would lose my shit. I'd cry. I would lose my shit. And Cyclops with the uh, with the blue and yellow. <laughs> Stop. I would lose my shit. Well, Literally. what's his name? Josh Brolin is coming back as Thanos and Cable, apparently. And Marvel. Cable? Is he, is he and really? Cable for the Marvel Universe. Yeah, that was a recent leak. For leaks, real? Leaks all day. I don't know. 
Wait, he's playing both? Yeah, he plays both. That's weird. Oh, yes. like this suit? Yes. Dude. Mm. Yes. With the utility belt. Dang. Dude, that, that, I want come on, man. Belt. Come on. Really? They got to do it. Marvel has come on. to do it, man. They got to do it. Dude, that, like people bug out. Marvel, my childhood is in your hands. My childhood is in your hands. My childhood is in your hands, please. Oh my please, god. Please, Marvel, please. Don't fail us now. Please. Oh. Been doing good. What's up, Last Slice listeners? It's Skags from the Two Doom Men podcast. If you enjoy the Doughboy show, you should also check out ours, where the captain and I discuss and debate politics, news, and culture with a skeptical but open mind. We also review beers, movies, TV shows, and other cool stuff. You can find the Two Doom Men podcast on all the major platforms and on all forms of social media. Just search Two Doom Men or go to linktree.com slash Two Doom Men. Thanks, and now let's get back to the show. On uh, Twitch News, did you hear about this? Oh, the no. Pokemane drama. <laughs> did you hear about yes. This? Okay. So, very famous Twitch streamers, uh, Ninja and Pokemane, right? Um, Essentially, what happened was, I think it was Deji, right? Uh, Deji, Deji uh, KSI's brother. Or is that what it was? Yeah. Wasn't I, he? I think Deji is KSI. No. KSI is JJ. There you go. Okay. Yeah, KSI is JJ. I think Deji is like his brother or his cousin or something. like that. They're related somehow. But Deji, I guess, was streaming. No, not Deji. Um, J- Jideon, Demar- the guy who goes to Marcus Cousins. Oh, him. That guy. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was. Oh, I- yeah. Jideon, you know, whatever. All right. Read it out for me. Uh, no, it said it all started January 12th when popular YouTuber. Uh, what's his name? Jideon. Jideon flooded Pokemon stream channel, uh, Twitch uh, channel, in what's known as a hate raid. It sucked, especially since him. Jideon. Told his followers to spam L plus ratio, which means loss and having a greater negative than positive response. Among other harassing comments left in Pokemon's chat as a means to discharge her. The hate raid prompted Pokemon to end her 12 hour Valorant stream and Twitch initially banned him for 14 days before escalating that to a permaban. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm so there was there was some drama though, also with Ninja involved with that. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how Ninja got involved. You, got, you gotta, you gotta bring it up somewhere. But apparently, Ninja was involved in this hate stream. I'm gonna call him Demarcus Cousins because that's what his YouTube is. It's hilarious. Um, Jideon, or Jideon, however you say, Jideon was uh, on Pokemon stream and he was showing her hate or whatever, right? Oh, uh, because he gave his two cents on the whole situation. Right. So Ninja, I guess, made a comment and then she took it as a fence and she went after uh, Ninja. So Pokemon went after Ninja and Ninja's wife got involved, who's his manager, and they were sending messages back and forth. And Ninja's wife was like, oh, we take it very seriously. This is a defamation of character, blah, 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 blah. We will be seeking legal counsel. And Pokemon is just like, but I'm the one receiving the hate. And he said, and it was like her playing the victim, essentially. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's pretty hilarious, though. But uh, <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know this twitchness. I think, uh, what was it? Ninja jumped in because he felt like it was. He's um, friends with Judeo. Yeah. You, they were, he was basically messaging Twitch saying like, oh, I think it's unfair that you permabanned him. That's what it or was. Whatever. Yes. So. Because. Um, Nin, the, that was the comment. Uh, yeah. He was saying like the situation just escalated to a point where he couldn't have no control on what was going on in chat mm-hmm. and shit like that. So he was saying like it's not I'm trying to say like it's not his fault or whatever, but I don't know. I my man lit the match and shit just spread yeah. on fire. So Nin, Ninja said live on stream because someone asked him like, oh, are you going to try to help your boy Jadeon get out of Twitch jail or whatever? And he's like, oh, should I message my people over at Twitch right now? My Twitch representatives connect representatives, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Jokingly, like he never actually did it. He jokingly said, like he was gonna, you know, get to his Twitch representatives and be like, "Hey, can you unban my boy? He's a he. he this guy Jadeon does this stuff purposely. He's a troll, mm-hmm. right? If you ever watch his YouTube channel, he literally trolls people 
and it is hilarious. Mm-hmm. Like it's a prank. He's a he's a pranker. You know, yeah. guy's been arrested numerous times for pranks. So I'm assuming that he was involved with that girl right. getting. So, so because Ninja made that statement, she took it to offense, and then she came after Ninja. And then Ninja's wife responded, and she was like, oh, we take it, you know, very seriously. Yeah. She, she wrote, uh, Ninja's wife, his manager, we are considering everything defamation of character at this point and are getting our legal team involved. You are spewing lies to tens of thousands of people. You know Twitch. You claim you know his rep. Then you know from them that Tyler never reached out to anyone and, again, just said that to stop the harassment in his chat from Judean's viewers. We have clarified everything to you. You are actively bringing harassment to Tyler and I right now at the highest level and we are taking this very seriously. Don't come for Ninja. This is ridiculous. Don't come for Ninja. Welcome to the Twitch. The, Welcome the to the Twitch. Is, Welcome is, uh, to the Twitch. Welcome so, to the Twitch, bro. All this social Welcome media to shit is so I don't like toxic. You. Twitch yeah. is just like high school. It's crazy. Oh, can it's I send crazy. you a video and can you play it cuz this shit made me laugh yeah. so hard. DeMarcus Cousins. I want to see who what this kid looks like. Bro, he is hilarious. Go to like his latest video. Oh, you, this dude? This dude. But he's oh, a troll. Oh, yeah. He's you a know, super he's a troll. troll. Yeah. He I've just, seen his videos. He just recently went to um, a stadium, mm-hmm. right? And he was trolling the basketball players, but they knew him. They invited him, bought him a seat. And oh, they this. Were, yeah. Yeah. DeMarcus they were gonna, Cousins. Right. They were going to try to give him, um, I guess, floor access or whatever. And security was bugging out on him because fans kept coming up to him and he said how can i control this and then he got booted from the stadium he got escorted out he's like why am i getting in trouble because fans want to come up to me and take pictures he's a hilarious dude yeah so hold don't play yeah this is the this is what i think oh this is the God. people yes. this is the I people who watch twitch and they're involved in all the social media stuff the last child is literally what we're talking about here yep this is the best. This is this is the generation. Ah! Teabag him, teabag him. You suck. Enough of that language. There will be no teabagging in my house. Sorry. Get shit on. Get shit on. Get shit on. Your ass. Your ass. Shut the fuck up. What do you want me, you pussy? <laughs> She gets me every time. She gets me every time. So that, so that was a video showing a mom who has three kids. It's oh a young one, God. middle one, and older one. The older one's like, <laughs> oh, you suck. And she's like, hey, you know, don't do that. It's bad language. The second son's like, oh, I'm going to teabag you. And he's like, there's going to be no teabagging. And then the, the, the youngest one is like, you push a. And she's on. just like, oh, you know, what get shit on. Bro. <laughs> when you guys talk about Twitch world, bro, yeah. that's, that's what, what I think of that's is that is. young kid. That's exactly what it is on Twitch. Get bro. you. It, it's, <laughs> you put- it's crazy. Every time I hear these, like, see these headlines, I just fucking yeah. die laughing. You, you know what it is? So, like, a game like Halo, right? Trill and I grew up. Uh, uh, On that note, I can't do it. Uh, I did make diamond though. Yeah, diamond yes. player. Yep. Um. So Halo back in the day, uh, you ever played the original Halo on Xbox? Mm-hmm. The first, first one, right? Mm. That game, right? It was it was strategic. It yeah. was point and shoot, mm-hmm. spray and pray. And I made a comment the other day while we were playing because we were getting so frustrated that the game has now not turned to. Who's good at accuracy? Who's good at headshots? Who's good at aiming, right? Yeah. It's turned to grenade and pray, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like you'll be headshotting some guy. That's what I do in Apex. And he's just throwing grenades. Grenades. He's just throwing right. grenades at you. He's just throwing grenades at you and you're like, "Are you serious right now?" Yeah. And that's I feel like that little kid like 1v1 me you pussy. Mm-hmm. Like no grenades. <laughs> he's like there, you pussy. Dude, I get so 32 angry. 32 year old man, you pussy. Yo, I get so <laughs> angry. I'll be playing with trials like, "Yo, fucking Halo's not the same what it used to be, man." Speaking about Just grenade Halo, and play. Do you guys know there's a show coming out? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's been in dude, that's been in the works for years. Yeah. Wasn't there um, going to be a movie? Yeah, your boy was supposed to make it. Lord of the Rings creator. Oh yeah. Uh director Oh, uh, Peter Jackson. He was supposed to make it. He was supposed to make uh, the movie. And he dropped it. Yeah. And stuff. 
Lord of the Rings is a shit, dude. I know. It's so good. Imagine he made Halo. Nah, I don't want would, him to make anything. <laughs> Just leave you, it. Would you say that movie franchise has the best trilogy out of any other movie? Oh, franchise that's a out good there? question. Oh. That is a good question. Compared to what? What? What is it up against? Well, if you, you had, had a pick, any other Star trilogy. Wars. Okay, so that's okay. You have the original Star Wars. You're original about. Star okay, Wars. Original Star Wars. Um. Damn, what's a really good like movie trilogy? Because there, there's a lot Jurassic out Jurassic Park. Would you say? Nah, don't put Jurassic Matrix. Park in there. No. Ooh, the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah, okay, that's a good Matrix trilogy. Yeah. Um. Damn, would you put Harry Potter in that? Yeah, that's not a trilogy though. It's not a trilogy. Not that's a trilogy. eight it's movies. More than, yeah, yeah, it's more than just a trilogy. I don't know. I, I honestly, all these names that we're saying, I think it would beat out all of them, to be honest with you. A solid trilogy. That's the really, I honestly put it over Star Wars. I hate to say it as yeah, a Star too. Wars fan. Uh, yeah. But like those three movies were so well written. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, from, be, from beginning to end, like first movie's intro. Yeah. Last movie is ending. You know, just a storyline from start to finish. Yeah. Just everything well, that they incorporated. What about the Dark Knight? It. Yep, we'll beat it. Yeah. Water Rings yeah. is just such Thousand a percent. solid, solid trilogy. Each movie is Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. 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 Yeah, that's we'll true. beat. Yep. Yeah, Indiana Jones. Jones. Yep. Yep. Thousand percent. Damn. I don't oh. think I don't think it, it I, I don't even think any of these movies could be on the same level as that. Like at all. Like not even a close comparison. No. Back to the future, no. Terminator, no. Blade, no. Hey, hangover. Maybe hangover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> uh what about Alien? Yeah, no. I yeah, still yeah, put yeah. it. I still put it over yeah. Alien. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that trilogy is just solid. Each movie is a banger. Like even Die Hard, Jason right? Jason Bourne. Yeah, <laughs> still over Jason Bourne. Even Die Hard, right? Number one and number two, amazing. Fall yeah. short. Number three. This is this is the way I, I view the Lord of the Rings. There's some trilogies where you'll have like the first one's phenomenal, the second one, and eh, the third one, eh, it's okay, but consistently. You can watch the first one. There's not one movie. There's not out of the three. There's not one movie that you're like, oh, I'm gonna just watch this one because it's good. Yeah. And not and 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 be like, oh, I could watch one and two and not three, yeah. or yeah. I could watch one and three, or I could watch two and like you. When you watch the first one, you're watching the second one. Yeah, you're watching true. the third one. Yeah. It sucks you in. <laughs> you, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Like you, the minute you play, you're like. I have to watch. I have to sit here for eight hours now. <laughs> you might hate me for this, but I've never seen the Hobbit series. Uh the Hobbits are good. The books, I, I read the book. The book, you know, like I'm gonna be that guy. Books, books, are way better than the movie. Yeah, yeah. The I Hobbit. never watched it just because I couldn't get into. However, it. I've never, I've never read the book, The Lord of the Rings. Um, uh, Mark has, my buddy Mark has, my father has. It's and a learning there's so curve. much information a in curve. those books that they couldn't capture on film, obviously. But um, they said from book to picture, hands down, one of the best. Because I know people that have read the books and they have the map and then they have a glossary for the language. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They have like. J.R.R. Like, Tolkien created he, his own language. His own elven language. Elven yeah. language. When they were doing The Hobbit and they were doing The Lord of the Rings, there was an elven expert helping Orlando Bloom, helping the actors because it's an actual language. It's an actual language, bro. Wow. Did you know that? I did not know so that. So when they're speaking, so when Aragorn's speaking to, um, what's her name? Liv Tyler, and he's speaking in Elven, that's an actual language. He created it. Wow. Isn't that crazy. nuts? I wonder if they use that in The Witcher. Maybe. 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 Because I, I, I think this new season, weren't the elves like speaking a certain language? I think so. Or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. Those yeah, two. I put Lord of the Rings over Star Wars. Yeah, Empire uh, Magazine has Lord of the Rings as number one. Then you have Star Wars, number two. Back to the Future. future. Three. Mm. Can't go wrong with that. Toy Story. Toy Story oh, four. wow. Toy Story. Huh? Okay. I forgot about that. The Godfather. Godfather. Oh, man. That's another oh. one. Yes. No, no, no. Here's my thing. <laughs> I'm going to go in right now. Okay. okay. Oh, God. I love The Godfather. Yep. I love the first... It, Godfather, you can't touch it, right? The first two, you can't touch. The third one is so bad, it just ruins the trilogy for me. The third because one? I only watch part one and part two. I never watched three because it was so bad. 
Like, uh, I know Francis Ford Coppola put his daughter in there, and she was such a terrible actress that I was just like, I can't watch this. It's so bad. The first two, though, dude, you the can't. You, where is the it? The second one goes back in time, right? You can't touch this guy in one and two. Acting, acting wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. incredible. In the second one, isn't it like flashbacks to the the father? Yeah. So, um, actually, HBO two years ago did a chronological order one. Oh, they did. Yeah, it was seven hours from start to finish. It started as um, Vito Andolini when he was younger, and it carried all the way through in chronological time order into the third one, mm. which is pretty cool. But yeah, the second one is a flashback between his father and himself. And the way they, like, it's just so good. Like yeah. uh, the way it was filmed, the actors were cr- incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I shared, I was watching it. When was I watching it? Like last week, there was a scene where it's um, it's um, Michael Corleone, it's uh, Al Pacino sitting down, um, James Caan as Sonny, um, the other guy, um, Fredo, who was also a big actor in the mm-hmm. 70s. Um, and a lot of, um, you had a, uh, What's his name? Carlo, the, the the sister. They're all sitting there. And it was like an improvised moment in acting. You can mm. tell it was like a little bit of script, but a little yeah. bit of improvised, uh, improvision, whatever, them improvising. And uh, I was like, damn, man, these are actors. These are like thespians, mm-hmm. you know? There's only one sci-fi movie that does it for me every time. One movie. Prometheus. Nope. <laughs> Aliens? Nope. Predator? It's a single movie. A single sci-fi movie? A single sci-fi movie, and it does it for me every time. Is it like a well-known one? Yep. Gremlins? Nope. <laughs> E.T.? No. E.T. was good, though. Yeah. E.T. is a good um, one. Fifth Element. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. So I, forgot, I forgot. That is what the is one a- science fiction movie. When it comes on TV, I'm watching it. That should have been more movies. It should have. It could have. Yeah, but it had the potential to be more movies. Just number one is so perfect. It's it's kind of like the movie Gladiator. Gladiator is another one. It's so perfect. You can't. You can't touch it. You can't touch it. Black Hawk Down. You can't touch it. Mm-hmm. I, I would be interested in if they did a TV show on Fifth Element. That'd be dope. Mm. Yeah, that'd be dope to dive deeper into that world and whatnot. Yeah, but that's Safe and Private Ryan. Yeah, you know yeah. all these movies. Get Indiana Jones out of there. No, no, get that. out I of there. enjoy Indiana Jones movies. I think the third cool. one. I, the third one. Do the uh, th- this one. The good, the bad, the ugly. What is yeah. that? The dollars. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. The dollars trilogy. Mm-hmm. No. Then you got the Matrix. The Matrix. Nine. Nope. Oh, the Evil, Evil Dead, Dead trilogy is on top ten. Oh, wow! Look at that. Okay, look at that. Isn't that like considered like a cult classic? Though? Yeah, it yeah. is. Aliens. Aliens, of course. Pirates, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Die Hard, Die Hard, Star Wars prequels. Oh, well, they put them at oh, 15. fifteen, huh? Spider Man, wow, yes, sir. Screen oh, one, two, on three. There. One to three. That's, okay. That's so we're looking then, at listings that like the best trilogies. Then that's like the top like horror movie slasher trilogy well, then. Yeah, slasher, yeah. If you would put it that way. Vengeance. The Naked Gun Not trilogy. trilogy. Oh, God. X-Men um, one to three. Okay. One to three. Terminator. What's that? The Infernal age. Affairs? Yeah. Mad, Mad Max. Max. Austin Powers. I was going to say Austin Powers in the beginning. I was like, yeah, maybe Austin Powers can. Oh, my Mighty Ducks. Ducks. I forgot about that. Oh, man. Wow. Get that out of here. No, oh, trash. Wow. The Blade trilogy? Blade 3? Well, yeah, yeah, I know. Horrible. Blade 3 is trash. Horrible. I know. I know. Get that out of here. It was trash. Who did. Uh, wait. Gum, uh, this guy directed one of the, the Blades? Yeah, Guillermo del Toro. What was that? Trinity? No, I think it was two. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was too, because that's when the thing had the mouth. Remember the vampire, yeah, the yeah. mutated ones with the mouth? Yeah. That's crazy. Millennium? I don't know. Oh, that's the uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Yeah, trash. Oh, the mariachi. Forgot about that movie. <gasps> oh, yeah. The trilogy, the trilogy of, the dead. of the dead. Night of the living day, day and dawn. Yep. Oh, Mission Impossible. Impossible. Forgot about that. 
Dun, 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 dun. Hannibal, Hannibal. Uh, Hannibal Lecter. The, the Jersey, Jersey trilogy. trilogy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the 33. That's crazy. Yeah. Lord that's, of the Wings. That's disrespectful. What? what? The uh, go up. What? Hannibal. What, Hannibal? Being that high up. That's disrespectful. I thought they were good. Yeah, because Silence of the Lambs was really good. And so was Hannibal. What was Red Dragon had this dude in it, right? Edward Norton, I yeah. think, right? Yeah. Is it a trilogy, though? Yeah, yeah it is. They're all connected. Damn, I I thought I, I really enjoy those movies. Yeah. I think they're good. Hello, Claudius. Yeah, but from start to finish, The Lord of the Rings, it just good to see, yeah. it just goes through its motions where it's just it's 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 good, then it goes bad, then it's good, then it's bad, and it's just like at the end you're just like you're fucking crying like a little, you know, <laughs> like somebody just beat you up for your lunch money if at the end. They've, they, been, they've been re-released a couple of times over the years. If they ever get re-released, seven millim, 70 millimeter theater like the Alamo, yeah. we're going. Yeah. Going. Yeah, why not? I, I think we all should go. Yeah. I yeah. was just talking to this uh, with uh, some of the guys, yeah. some of my four boys. Get a, f- a projector. Get a screen, put it up. Do it. Get uh, two big speakers. Everyone get dressed up, and that, everybody gets dressed up <laughs> yeah. as the movie. I'll and dress we up just as have like one of the orcs. Every <laughs> oh, I'm down. I'm with it. I'm be Gandalf the White. Back on the menu, boys. Gandalf the White. Gandalf the White. Not the gray. The white. The white. You have no power here, <laughs> Gandalf the Gray. Who's gonna dress up as uh, Schmeagle? <laughs> Mark. <laughs> He actually does a good, great impression of uh, Schmeagle. What, Schmeagle? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Potatoes. Potatoes. Boy, the mash and mix them in a stew. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm just up as one of these dudes, bro. <laughs> one of the the orcs, bro. One ring to rule them all. The, just where they film those movies. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. New where Zealand, right? New Zealand? I think a lot of it was in it was New Zealand. A lot of it was, yeah, like the New scenery. Zealand. I know the Shires in New Zealand, they actually built the whole. It's still there. It's a you can visit it, yeah. yeah. That's go. crazy. We should go visit the Shire. I, I would definitely Shire. go. Let's go visit the Shire. Definitely. Yeah, it's So this is in New Zealand? Yeah. That's crazy. There's actually a folklore behind it. Um, The Shire. How about this one? A wizard is. Well, let me try to get into his voice. A wi- I can't even do it. A wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. <laughs> I tried. I can't do it. Ian McClellan. Yo, wizard Harry. Yo, wizard Harry. Yo, wizard. What was it? This the boy has come to oh. die. What happened with Crystalia? No, this shit had me dying. I think it had to do with like the question, like. If you were stuck or deserted on a uh, on a deserted island or whatever or something like that, he was asking them like questions about it. That shit had me like weak. Oh, let me see what I got. It. About to happen. Oh, who would talk him down? A hundred percent. Yeah, hey, bro. If you put me on an island with a bunch of guys, <sighs> who do you think's gonna rule the island, dude? Oh, you know what that makes you, dude? You know what that makes you? Food. You're not gonna be in charge. <laughs> Bullshit. You're like the leader in the Waco situation. Yeah, hundred percent. You're that bro. guy. No, he's actually right. I mean, think of all those idiots that have life rips tattoos. Convinced, I just convinced you. I just convinced you of this. In thirty I just seconds. You of yeah, this. In twenty seconds. I knew it was happening. Where's the Kool Aid? <laughs> Where's the Kool Aid? <laughs> oh shit. Yo, oh my god. Uh, all right. That's crazy. Close right, this out. Thank you for tuning in to another fun-filled episode of the Last Slice Podcast. Bodega Cat, Trill Boy, and Jim Middle Kid. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, also on YouTube, on the Doughboys Network. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything helps us out. And also check out Trill Boy's uh, Twitch streams. I believe it's Trill Boy 15 at Twitch. It's uh, twitch.tv slash Trill Boy 15. Yeah, you'll see us pop up every now and then there. Subscribe helps us out yeah. and uh, continue growing this uh, this podcast channel. If, if you uh, got anything you want us to talk on, just don't forget to comment. You know, if you like us in your morning ears, in your ear canals, and you ear want that canals. ASMR, just comment down below. We'll talk about anything. I don't care. Mm-hmm. We'll do it. We'll yeah. do it. We'll do it.
We'll do it. Yep. Do well, it. Yep. Thank you guys for tuning in to The Last Slice. We'll see you next time. Peace.